we've recently opened a study called SPORT, um, and SPORT is looking at the issue of second primary cancers in patients who've previously had lung cancer treated and hopefully cured. A few years ago, I noticed that I was seeing patients coming back into my clinic who had previously had a lung cancer. They'd had a surgical operation to remove it. They'd been cured uh, after five years of follow-up, all seemed to be well. And maybe two or three years later, they were reappearing in my clinic with a new lung cancer. So this might be six, seven, eight years out from their original one. And it occurred to us that, of course, as we increase the uh, surgical operation rates for lung cancer, for early stage lung cancer, and we um, cure more and more patients, we are in effect uh, creating a, a new issue and that we don't really know what happens to these patients after um, that time. Because historically, if the majority of people died from lung cancer, you know, they didn't live, so you didn't ever find out what happened to them. But uh, as we improve um, cure rates and we have an enlarging population of people uh, who are surviving lung cancer. We want to find out what happens to them. And we did some work um, using national registry data looking at you know, second primary cancers after a first lung cancer. And what we found was that after about, from about years three onwards, so years three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that um, about one and a half percent of patients each year cumulatively get a new smoking related cancer, either a lung cancer or a head and neck cancer or an upper esophageal cancer. Um, so over, you know, from years five to 10, around about one in eight, one in 10 people will get a second primary cancer. So um, we realized this is sort of a new area of unmet need. And um, we linked this uh, finding in with some work we're already doing in Cambridge around uh, looking at circulating tumour DNA in the blood. So uh, circulating tumour DNA comes from the tumour, uh, circulates in the blood and can be detected um, in very small quantities. And it's being used to um, see if we can in the future develop a marker for early stage disease. So it's already uh, used in, in some settings for in advanced disease and it's commercially available. But an early stage disease where the amount of circulating tumor DNA is much lower, it is actually much harder to detect. But with the new methodology and technologies developing, we're beginning to make inroads into this and uh, we're beginning to find that we can detect uh, circulating tumor DNA in early stage, uh, in at least some early stage patients um, more easily than we could a few years ago. So um, the sports study is going to take a, a cohort of patients who've had previous treatment with curative intent, either surgery or chemo radiotherapy, who are at least two years out from their uh, original treatment uh, with no evidence of recurrent disease, and then recruit them up to 850 patients across multiple centers and then follow people every six months. Uh, some people will get recurrent disease from their original cancer, um, but some, we believe, will get these second primaries in years to come. Each time they attend, um, we will take blood from them, uh, which we will use for measuring circulating tumor DNA, methylation status, and various other markers that we're interested in. And um, then, uh, we will wait to see who develops uh, future cancers. And then retrospectively, we can go back and look at all their blood samples to see if we can see uh, evidence of that new cancer developing. Um, and if, as we hope we can, then in the future, uh, we may have a new biomarker or um, some sort of assays that we can run to actually track people in real time in the future to see whether uh, they're at risk of developing um, a f another cancer or not. Um, so as I say, this study is recently opened in Cambridge. We're going to roll it out to multiple other centers. Um, we hope to recruit these 850 people over the next couple of years and then follow them for a number of years. Um, and that study, the sports study, is, is part of this larger program of research called the Elusive Program, um, which is being funded by Cancer Research UK.